Did you know that you can graph an absolute value equation? Here's an absolute value equation where y is equal to the absolute value of x plus 3. Now the first thing that we're going to figure out when we have an equation like this one is we're going to figure out what the vertex is. Because remember, we're going to graph it. And the vertex is where the lines are going to meet on this graph. The vertex is an x value that equals a distance of 0. So let's say that we put 0 in for y equals the absolute value of x plus 3. This means that we can rewrite this equation so that x is equal to a negative 3. So we can say that the vertex is at negative 3 and then our y value was 0, so it's at negative 3, 0. This is our vertex. Keep this in mind as we work through the next part of this equation. Now let's put here negative 3, 0, so that we can remember what the vertex is. And now we have y is equal to x plus 3. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to need a table of values because remember anytime you're going to graph anything you need ordered pairs so you need x values and you need y values. Let's set up our table. x and y. And let's say that we start with a negative 3 for x. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Absolute value of 0 is 0. There's our vertex again. Now let's go to negative 4. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Absolute value of negative 1 is 1. Now let's go to negative 5. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. Absolute value of negative 2 is 2. And let's do one more. Negative 6. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. Absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Now, now our values have all been negative for x. So let's go the other way. And let's go with a positive 1. 1 plus 3 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. The absolute value of 4 is 4. Let's put 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. Absolute value of 5 is 5. Now we have a series of ordered pairs, and let's see if we can take these ordered pairs and then graph them. Here's our coordinate grid. Now remember that our vertex is at negative 3, 0. So let's put that in. Negative 3, 0. There's our first point. Now we have negative 4, 1 as a point. We have negative 5, 2 as a point and we have negative 6, 3 as a point. Now we also have 1, 4 as a point, and we have 2, 5 as a point. Now this gives us a bit of a gap here, but you can see that if we're going to connect these points, here's one part of our graph, and here's the other part of our graph. You can see that this absolute value equation, when it's graphed, makes a V shape. Absolute value equations always have a graph that looks a lot like this one. The vertex will be in different places, but the graph will still always have a V shape. Now you've learned how to graph an absolute value equation.